battles and things like that. Any progress that you felt at all today? Oh, same as yesterday. Sorry? Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. Pain lessened. Same as yesterday. Just encourage you to get through back to back practices. Yeah, it's good. It's good to skate and practice with the team. And yeah, it feels good to, to do that. For those who weren't here yesterday, are yep. you uh, optimistic about being able to I don't know. More? I don't know. Just feel like you're getting your legs and lungs back. A little I feel bit better. Hard. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's good to skate multiple days. I think it's been six or seven days that I've skated, and you know, each day you can get on the ice back to back, and you know, get a good practice, high tempo practice. Right now, these are these are the good ones to be part of. So I'm happy to to be out there with the team and. Feels like uh, guys are moving pretty good, so uh, it was good practice again today. Same as yesterday, so we haven't really yep. taken big contact to that area yet. Nope, no, same as yesterday. Nice to get a little power play work too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we need it, obviously. You see where the power play was this year, and it's not good enough for the, the guys that we throw out there. Um, you know, we're not proud of, of the numbers in the regular season, but, uh, you know, this is the time of the year where the power play really counts now that we've got ourselves in the playoffs. So, um, you know, we can change it all now with uh, with a good power play heading into the postseason. So that's what we're going to try and do. How challenging is it to head out there in the power play and try to get things going without 19 out there? But... I mean, it's going to be it's going to be different. Um, you know, if Jumbo's not out there, if, if I'm not out there, um, obviously the units are going to be uh, changed up. And, you know, it's it's it is going to be different for the group that's that's been together for so long. But uh, you know, it gives another guy's opportunity to to jump out there and handle the puck more, um, create more offense, hopefully, and, and score some goals. That's what we need right now. Yep. Has this helped to just be able to, to work a couple of days? Uh, yeah, it's been good. Just uh, working, uh, just to kind of get reps in again, and just mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of memory. A lot of memory stuff and just being focused. So uh, just going over details again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just ready to go. Good to get some power play work too. And some of those special teams. Yeah, there. it's just good to work on everything. Uh, you know, as I said, just to get some more reps in. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, just going over details again as usual. How do you feel going into this series? Now? Uh, good, excited. Just any playoffs is always a fun time of year. So any regardless of who you're playing against, it's just a, a good atmosphere and just. You know, we're uh, we're excited for the challenge ahead of us. Joel, you've been on teams that finished strong. You've been on teams that went down the stretch. How much correlation is there between how you're playing the next few weeks of the regular season and the playoffs? Um, I don't even know what. I, I really don't know to be honest. With you. I, I just, it's just uh, you know, you go into it uh, being focused. Uh, you know, knowing your details. But I think the main thing is just going out there and having fun and and executing the best you can. So. Um, you know, again, we're just excited. Uh, you know, we're in the playoffs here. We got a chance to, to get back to where we went last year, and uh, just kind of get our mind focused on that. Yeah, how much of that is, is in the back of the mind that we are the defending Western Conference champions? Uh, yeah, you know, we're 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 excited about the group that we have. Uh, we've got some new bodies. You know, every year is obviously different, but you know, we can kind of take back some of the positives we did last year and hopefully implement them this year and, and uh, you know get on a roll. It'll be good. You know, if I go with those two guys tomorrow, it's uh, you know, looking forward to seeing yeah. what we can do. Good. Thanks. Chris, is it uh, in the back of your mind collectively that you know, clean slate and, oh, by the way, we are still the defending Western Conference champions? Yeah, I think so. You know, um, it's a new season when you start playoffs, and, you know, it's a little bit of a different mindset. Everybody locks in a little tighter, um, not as much room on the ice. Uh, the details make that much more of a difference. So um, I think this room's just really excited to get going, uh, start playoffs, and try to you know, defend the title and get back to the Stanley Cup final. How does the uncertainty about Jumbo and Couture sort of play inside the room? Um, you know, I don't think we're too worried about it. You know, uh, obviously, there are two top players, and we want them in the lineup. We can have them, but uh, we got enough guys in here that can step up and, and fill roles. So. Um, you know, hopefully they get them back soon. But um, you know, if not, then uh, you know we can work with what we have. Many times, regardless of how you finish the regular season, what's the key to, to hitting the reset button now? Um, I don't know if there's one key. It's just commitment. This time of the season, um, it's hard to explain how much excitement it is, or there is, you know, around this group and just being able to play in the postseason and you know what kind of atmosphere you're going to get, you know, in any. Whatever building you're going to, it's going to be electric, and um, it's just exciting hockey for sure. What does last year's run do for you guys this year? Um, gives us a little experience, you know, maybe a little belief about certain ways to win. Um, with the new coaching staff, I think your systems, you 
it allows you, you know, your belief system to go up even more um, with how we want to play, uh, that it works, you know, when we buy in. And um, But it's a new year. It's new new playoffs, and uh, there'll be new challenges, new adversities, and you got to handle them along, along the way, and you guys step up. Speaking of which, you know, how do you deal with the uncertainty? Obviously, you want to have all pistons firing, but you're not sure with Joe and with Cooch. How do you guys deal with the uncertainty? You know, it can't take away from any of our commitment levels, you know, what we're trying to do. Um, you know, if we try to start acting like someone we're not, you know, then we're in trouble. So just really focus on the details and the commitment. And um, you got to play a full 60 minutes each night to give yourself a chance to win at the end of the game or push it to overtime. And if we can get that, you know, our odds go up. And what kind of challenges does it present to you and to your offense, do you believe? Um, well, they're a good shot blocking team, you know. Um, they just, you know, they're fresh. Yeah, it's been a while since they've been in the playoffs, so there's there's a lot of excitement going around there. You know, you're going to get competitive games, and um, I, I don't know what else. At the end of the night, it's it's got to be more about us than than what they're doing and, and our commitment levels. And um, they got some speed and they make some plays, so we'll try to to limit that. And what's your opinion of uh, Connor McDavid? Um, what do you look most forward to in challenging him and playing him? Uh, again, you know what? He, he's a player that's obviously he led the league this year in scoring and speed and the plays he makes. So you kind of, everyone, you know, when you're on the ice, you got to be aware of him. It's nothing that he doesn't know. It's nothing that we don't know. It's about getting the job done and, and that commitment level. Joe, you've obviously played against Todd a bunch of times, but first time in the playoffs. Is there anything to that storyline? I mean, how does that, uh, does that resonate at all with you guys? You know what? At the end of the day, we. We've had him here. You know, he knows us. We know them. Um, you know, they're students of the game over there. You know, they do a lot of film, a lot of work for preparation and everything. So there's not much that's going to get by, you know, that group. I don't think there's much that gets by this group. So at the end of the night, you got to show up and, and be ready to go, you know, from the puck drop, you know, from every face off. Uh, it comes down to a lot of moments throughout the night and, um, you know, just to execute it in those situations. Besides winning, what will be your main priority for the playoffs? Besides winning? <laughs> There's really not much more to that. To that. We want to win, and um, that, that'll be our main focus. And uh, I guess the other priority is not necessarily focus on winning, focus on doing a lot of the, the details, take care of a lot of the process. Um, and if we can do that, you usually get the end result that you want. So just make sure commitment levels are high to, and show each other that we're ready. I'm uh, confident, but uh, still day to day. So we'll see how it uh, how it feels tomorrow. How do you feel the last few days getting out there skating? It felt nice to skate. Uh, yeah, I feel strong, uh, but it's just nice to get back on the edge with the guys. Joe, oh, go ahead. Actually, the came in, went back out for the power play work, and you weren't out there. It was really just just they're limiting yeah, just, your work. And yeah, I think just work to rest ratio they call it. Uh, <laughs> But you know, when I was out there, I felt good, so it's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Joe, what does last year's run do for you guys going forward this year? Yeah, no, I think I think the group, uh, you know, it's confident. I think uh, we were kind of in the same spot last year, going on the road in the first series. Um, yeah, but just I think the the guys uh, familiar um, with this time of year, and, and we're confident this time of year. So it's uh, it's going to be a nice, nice, exciting run again. Are you hungry? Get out there, even if it's in a different role than you usually play on this team. Would you be willing to kind of oh, yeah. take yeah. more limited chance? Absolutely. It's just, you know, playoff hockey, just kind of do what you can to help the team win and and, uh, and move on. So that's uh, that's the goal. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Joe. All right. Yeah, it was nice. I had to dust off the whistle and uh, <laughs> do some work, but uh, it, was, it was nice to be able to do that. You forget. Uh, you know how important uh, getting some of those details in, and you know obviously with the the schedule the last month and some of the injuries we've dealt with, we haven't had a lot of those days. Based on the training, the team seems very energetic, excited. What do you think about it? Yeah, I think they are. You know, I, I mean, this is what you play for this time of year, the playoffs, and to be one of these 16 teams with a chance. So, 
Um, you know, it's a long year and uh, it takes a lot of work to give yourself this opportunity and I think uh, the guys are excited that it's here. How uh, the team is managing the pressure to be in the playoffs? Yeah. Well, you know what, I think we've got a veteran group and, uh, you know, they, uh, they know what it is expected this time of year. You know, they've done it before, as recently as last season. And uh, like I said, I, I don't think they feel pressure. I think they're, they're excited about the challenge. What have you liked about Timo's game? Have you, seen uh, you know, I mean, the physical tools jump out at you. Big, strong, hard, uh, fast. You know, you can see why he's a top 10 pick in the, in the draft. And I think uh, what I've liked is some of the details of his game to be an effective pro are, are getting better. And, uh, you know, he's handled his, his assignments down to the Barracuda you know, well and with maturity. And every time he's come back, he's come back a little bit, uh, I think, a little bit better. There's a lot of guys that are obviously have been playing well down there. How has Sorensen sort of come up here and, and managed to sort of secure his spot? Well, same thing, you know. Uh, a lot of speed uh, jumps right out at you. But, uh, you know, he brings some dimensions that uh, that we don't have a lot of. And, uh, and I like just how he plays. He plays inside. He plays hard. He's fearless. He's relentless. Um, you know, that's all, that all fits with how we want to play. So the young guys are playing a bigger and bigger role, it seems, in the league this nowadays. And Blackhawks have five rookies. The Penguins had some big rookie contributions yeah. last year. What do you see the role for your young guys uh, on this club? Well, the same, you know. Just uh, if you're in our lineup, you're expected to contribute. You know, we're we're a four line team. You're not you're not there just taking up space waiting for Joe Pavelski to score. So, uh, you know, we need. We need contributions when those guys hop over the boards. You know, you got to have a positive effect on the game. Are you, is your line, you know, a plus in the game or or, or not? You're not just out there just to, to, to uh, you know, survive. How would you evaluate the sort of the contribution you've gotten from the youth from the guys who have come up in this season? Has it been where you wanted it to be? Yeah, I think it has been. Um, I can tell you, we wouldn't be in the playoffs without without it. Right. You know, dealing with. Uh, the, the short summer in the World Cup and injuries and, and all those things, I thought uh, we used our firm team extensively this year. And every time we went down there and brought someone up, you know, for the most part, the guys got the job done. So you're always looking for more. You know, you'd always love a, uh, somebody to break out. And, and uh, you know, but maybe we'll get that this year in the playoffs. How challenging is that leap from, you know, doing really well at the Barracuda, where, which a lot of guys are, and then coming up yeah. and be able to be that kind of a player in the NHL? Well, it's a huge leap. You know, very few guys can do it. And, you know, most guys have to change their game to do it. You know, you're a scorer down there. You have to become a checker up here. Chris Tierney's playing on the power play down there. He's, he's a penalty killer up here. I mean, that that's how most guys do it. So um, that, that's hard to do, and uh, that's why it's the best league in the world. How did Logan look today getting to his second practice? Thought he looked great. No. Was it good to get him out some power play work even? And yeah. Yeah, it was, I, think it, I think it was just nice to have him out there two practices in a row, and I think every time he's on the ice, he feels better about where he's at. What about Thornton? How's he look? He looked good today, I thought. You know, it's two days in a row, and, uh, you know, again, it's day to day, but uh, I thought he looked good out there. Right, so does the short summer add an extra layer of, of challenge in terms of keeping these guys, you know, healthy and fresh and uh, long yeah. year and now another potential long year? Well, it does. Um, you know, and I think you look at the history of the Stanley Cup, you know, teams that go to the finals, you know, very rarely get back there in the next year because of that. So, you know, we want to buck that trend. And, you know, we, we've been aware of that all season. We've, we've tended to give guys the benefit of the doubt and give them time off as opposed to, to practicing them, you know, in order to, to try and save some gas in the tank for this time of year. And I think our guys are ready. Coach, I want to for the new guy and then ask the yeah. new guy question. Sure. Will Lo Pizzo or Cam Joe playing game one tomorrow? Uh, you know what? Both those guys, like I've said all along, are day to day. So uh, they're both they both look good today at practice, but that'll be a game time decision. Can you talk about the unique challenges that yeah. Bjorling presents for your team? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, number one, the best the best player in the world, you know, right now, Connor McDavid. Uh, you know, Sidney Crosby probably there's some argument made that he's he, he would be, but this guy is either right there or, or 1A. Uh, um, and then, you know, I think they've won 12 of their last 14 games. They've got great starting goaltending. 
you know, good power play. There's a lot of different things that they do well, and it's a great challenge for us. But you know, you don't you don't draw one of these 16 teams without them being a very good team. And I, I don't think anyone in the NHL playoffs is sitting looking at an easy matchup uh, anywhere. So you know, we've got to be ready for that. Coach, what are the, some of the differences between regular season hockey and playoffs? Everything, everything emotionally goes to a different level. Uh, you know, uh, the, every play, uh, you know, an awareness is heightened and the battle level's higher. Uh, every line change is more important. You know, the games tend to get a lot tighter. You see a lot more 2 1, 1 0, 3 2 games. So, um, you know, everything just tightens up and, and, and intensifies. Two, one more guys if you have any to get to the point here. Good. Thank you. Good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.